question is, can you please tell us about working with John Carpenter on Escape from New York? John Carpenter telephoned me one day. He said, listen, he said, I'm, I'm gonna shoot a picture. And he said, and I, and I got a part for you, and, I, and can I talk to you? And, and I said, sure. So he went over there to the smokehouse at, uh, right across the street from the uh, Western, from, uh, what the devil is it? Anyway, um, one of the studios. And we're sitting there, and, and he said, and I got this part for you and everything, and I read the script and all. And I said, yeah, but I don't want to play a cabbie. I said, hell, I, I, I can do a cabbie like, with my eyes closed. I said, the part that I had in mind was, you know, something like uh, Lee Van Cleef, you know. The, no, no, he says, I've already given it to Lee Van Cleef. <laughs> I want to play the warden. And I said, oh, golly. So, and John is a wonderful guy, Carpenter, and, and, uh, and I said, okay, I'll play it for you. He said, but I wrote it especially for you. I said, okay. So we went ahead and did it. I had a wonderful time with it. And uh, it was the easiest thing in the world, you know, hey, throwing bombs and everything else, and, you know, <laughs> doing all those crazy things. And, uh, and I, I'll never forget when we went to see the motion picture the first time was in the, um, in the actor's studio in, uh, in Hollywood. And my wife and I sat down at the very top and all the whole place was just loaded down with people and, and uh, actors, you know, and, and watching the picture. And there was not one thing said until it showed where I came down the road and pow, the car broke apart and there I was, dead. And everybody went, oh. <laughs> They were sorry that I had passed away. I said, my God, <laughs> what else can I possibly do? This is wonderful. So I was it turned out to be pretty good after all. So that's it. I'd say there's a few fans of that movie here.